In this short video, we're going to take a look at some simple drills to enable you to learn the hitch kick. Some people see the hitch kick as an advanced technique. In some ways it is, but it can be learnt by athletes of any age once they have learnt how to take off properly. In terms of the need to jump a certain distance, basically I argue that if you can perform the movement properly, then you're jumping far enough to do a hitch kick. We're looking here at the one and a half stride hitch kick. Basically, the athlete performs one cycle in the air as seen in the freeze frame, then the half is the completion of the movement with the added leg shoot. It's important to set the jump up properly first and we use this step platform positioning the foot flat footed onto the track in order to develop the takeoff step movement. The penultimate step is flat footed, as should be the takeoff. So let's start with the drills to get you hitch kicking. You're going to do one cycle from a standing start. Start by swinging the thigh forwards and up, and then dropping the leg long behind and below the body to create that one cycle movement. You'll land in the pit with your legs reversed. I found that it's best to concentrate on the leg movement as the arms will move into position, hopefully. If not, they need to be extended overhead and work alternately with the legs. After getting the hang of the first drill, we now move on to the same movement performed from a very short runner. Make sure that you move through the takeoff position and push the foreleg out in front of the body before sweeping it back down and round and reaching with the other leg into the sand. You'll see that the arm action is more effective here. Next step is to add the landing, the half part of the hitch kick. Don't worry about leg shoot at the moment as off of three or four or five steps you'll not have enough time i.e. you won't achieve enough distance to get the legs out in front. Just focus on cycling off the board and moving through into a reasonable landing. The next step of course is to move back to perform a hitch kick from a longer runner and it should be easier here with the added ability to achieve more distance. Keep the movements the same, don't rush them. With Sarah, who's been in most of the videos, we have had issues trying to get a better landing, but this is partly due to the fact that she's performing the hitch kick motion very, very well, and being over six foot tall, it takes her time to get those legs moving round and into position. We joke that she needs to jump over 620 in order to get the leg shoot. Also experimented with her moving her legs more quickly in order to try to get into the leg shoot a bit earlier. You're now watching some of the other guys in the group try the hitch kick, many who've never tried a technique before. And as you can see from the progressions that we've done, that they managed to achieve reasonable techniques. As usual, thanks for listening and do subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you may have below. And good luck with your training and competitions.